competition is a group of students that are all studying the fashion and retail management program and they are going to design and drape a live model with garments of fabrics that they've never seen before. So it's a competition to see how they can apply the principles of design and line and form and all the elements together to come up to with a winning fashion today. So this is really going to put some of their skills and ideas to the test. Uh, what do you expect for them to come up with in this competition and what do you expect them to gain? Um, I think the thing is, a lot of times you don't have a chance to practice the principles of design in reality, and this is going to put them on the spot. It's exciting. It's like Project Runway. We all want to be part of a, something like that and to show our design. So it'll be a chance for them to show their flair and what they've been learning. They're all very excited about it. They're a little bit nervous at this point, but I think they're going to do great. We have one of our first teams that are going to be participating in this competition, and I know you guys have been preparing. You're pretty nervous about what's going to happen today, right? What's your name? My name is Shella. Jenny. Sissy. Okay, how did you guys prepare for the competition today? Well, I was just reading stuff online and I watched on Project Runway and just going to class. <laughs> and now what, what are you thinking right now of some ideas that could be, that could be in that box? What's going to be in there? Um, I think it would be fun if we did separates. I think that would help set us apart because I'm sure a lot of people do dresses because of the time constraints. So if we could try and pull off like two different separate pieces, I think that would give us an edge. Uh, okay, we'll try to keep that strategy quiet here for the rest of the teams. Okay, so we have team number two here and I, want to, I wanted to point out something. They're all wearing a uniform for the purpose of the competition, but I want you to notice their shoes. You see their styles and their different personalities right through their shoes. So fashion girls never fail on that, right? I know some other groups have been doing some research by uh, watching Project Runway, some other shows. How are you guys preparing doing your research to get ready for this? Yes, we're just preparing for whatever we, the worst situation, the worst kind of fabric we can get and <laughs> think about what we can make with it and then that's all in their heads, you know. Hey, that could be candy wrappers in those boxes. We don't know. Okay, this is group number three. And as I heard just now, they're all running on caffeine, getting ready and hyped up for this competition. Uh, and uh, I wanted to ask you girls, I know everybody else has been doing research, watching shows. How did you guys prepare? Um, well, we had practiced from before um, on how to drape and to make sure that the garments fit well. So we're just ready to go. And we all have previous experience in sewing, so we're trying to make the best garment we can possibly can. The whole idea came about when the Simon Galleria came to us at the Art Institute of Houston and we, um, they wanted to come up with a project that was educational as well as entertaining and Style Wars was the result of it. How do you think the students will do here today? I think they'll do great. It's a big element of surprise and again I hope we entertain the audience around us and they're great students and we chose them for the, the best of the best at the Art Institute. So that's why they're here and I think they'll do a great job. Well, the students will actually get a box of fabric and open it up. They've not seen the fabric before and they will design and conceive a garment out of the pieces of fabric. They will drape it on the mannequin to begin with and then finally on a live model. So, so that's going to be definitely a tough uh, go here for them. Yes, they will actually have only one hour to do the entire process. So they cannot uh, sew anything with a sewing machine, they will actually have to cut, pin, tape, whatever they need to do to get that garment workable so that the model can walk down the runway in it. Well, I'm so excited. I do a fashion and beauty based show, so I get to see fashion and beauty every day. But one of the things I love about this is that these students have endless possibilities for their futures. So they're actually going to have to apply what's in for fashion this fall season and make it look good in one hour. And so I'm excited to see what they can do and if it's going to be trendy, if it's going to be like the rock star theme for this season, if it's going to have red, if it's going to have studs. So there are a lot of really cool types of trends. I want to see if they can apply it today.
like to congratulate team number three. Thank you so much. I thought it was amazing the way uh, they took the initial creative idea, they didn't get to see any of the materials until they had to open the boxes, and how it went from their basic idea, executing the design to finished product in an hour. I thought that was amazing. Definitely extremely creative. I saw you judging around, looking at him very focused. I took a lot of notes. I was writing everything down because I wanted to make sure when it came time to judge and, and actually award points in the different categories that I had all, you know, I could remember everything. Uh, one of the teams, amazing teamwork. I thought team two was, uh, they worked, to, they were very streamlined. They were, they, you know, there was no uh, lost motion in what they were doing. You know, everybody had a job, everybody executed really well. So uh, as far as teamwork went, I thought team two was amazing. But all the teams really pulled it together at the very end. So it was really interesting to watch. So we were rocking it here with Deborah Duncan too. And uh, you were doing quite a job there on the runway. <laughs> you know, I think it's everyone's fantasy to actually be up on a runway. Just that a lot of us realized that we can't, so uh, it was just kind of a cool little moment for us. Tell me, what was your impression today with the student skills and improvising basically on a model? Yeah. I love these types of events and all the reality shows that we're seeing right now because I think a lot of us take for granted what it really takes to get a garment from a piece of material. First, you got to get the material made all the way through design, all the way to the point where it's hanging on a store shelf where you can buy it. So watching that was a condensed version of, a really condensed version of what really happened in the industry, but uh, again, when I see a price tag on something, I realize it took a lot of work and went through a lot of people's hands to get to that point. And so you appreciate buying someone's skill or paying for someone's skill. Well, thank you so much, Deborah, for uh, having some time to talk to us, and we really enjoyed you having you in this event, and we look forward to seeing you at a lot more events around town. Okay, Salsa TV, we got to do it. Let's go. We got a salsa next time we see you, okay? All right, bye. bye.